in the next four or three or four videos I'm going to create a camera system and uh, it will be based on on the learnopengl.com and the camera section so just read it if you want to know more about how a camera system works in OpenGL and uh, I just created a scene just with six cubes with three different textures and translated the cubes in different positions <coughs> in the world so I already created a camera model and in that camera model I defined uh, the so-called look at function so let me show you what is a look at function so a great thing about matrices is that if you define a coordinate space using three perpendicular, perpendicular or non-linear axes you can create a matrix with those three axes plus a translation vector and you can transform any vector to that coordinate space by multiplying it with this matrix. <coughs> this is exactly what the look at matrix, matrix does and now that we have three perpendicular axes and a position vector to define the camera space we can create our own look at, ma look at matrix. And, uh, where R is the right vector, U is the up vector, and D is the direction vector, and P is the camera's position vector. Note that the position vector is inverted, since we eventually want to translate the world in, in the opposite direction of where we want to move. Using this look at matrix is as our view of matrix eff effectively transforms all the world coordinates to the view space we just defined. The look at matrix then does exactly what it says. It creates a view matrix that looks at a given target. So my look at matrix was created uh, based, if you scroll down, this is the exercises section. Try to create your own look at function where you manually create a view matrix as this gives blah 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 blah. So in the solution here is a C++ code and I just implemented it uh, in Python. So it's the same as as uh, as this Okay, so first we need a position vector. It it's, uh, defines where our camera is uh, located. The target. So where is where is our camera looking at? So let me show you the glue look at. So. The eye position XYZ, the center specifies the position of the reference point, so where it's looking at, and the up vector of the camera, the up X, up Y, and up Z. So, first of all, calculate, calculate the uh, camera direction. So it is the position minus the target. Get the positive right axis vector, so this is this line here, and uh, calculate the camera up vector, which is this. Then create a translation in a rotation uh, matrices. So, and uh, of course, because everything is moving uh, in the opposite side, we need to negate this as minus position, the text minus 
a position that y and minus position that z and uh, this is the rotation matrix and let me show you something about uh, let me change to the to the camera and I'm going to create uncomment these two lines so create a camera object and camera that look at and give it a free vector vectors okay but let me just uncomment this print the translation So now, as you see, we have uh, this matrix here, 4x4, four four, where we translated the view 2 on the x, 5 on the y, and negative 2 on the z. So because it's negated, the 2 becomes negative 2, the 5 becomes negative 5, and the negative 2 becomes just 2. <coughs> And uh, what else I wanted to talk? Yes, uh, this translation, the T, if you delete the T, it will be a row, row major. So this negative 2, negative 5 and 2 will be here. So it becomes a row major uh, matrix. And I want to use a column major, so I'm going to give it as give it that uh, that uh, capital T at the end. So I created a little presentation. Uh, I'm just going to comment this out, these two out. A little presentation in Blender. Uh, so an animation just to show you what happens when when we talk about the world to view transformation so I'm gonna play it So it looks like the camera is moving through the scene. But what happens is, if I'm going to change the view, that uh, let me reverse the camera stays or the view or the eye stays at one position and the whole world gets translated uh, not translated but transformed in, uh, in the view coordinate system so not the, not the view, not the camera or the camera uh, what it moves but the whole world so from outside it looks like this the camera is at one position and the world moves around it okay so that's what a uh, look at matrix that's why it is inverted here because if I say that I want to move the camera in this direction the camera doesn't move but the whole world moves the opposite direction so like this <clears throat> so let's start to implement into our scene this camera so first of all I'm going to import that camera so from 
camera import camera yes I'm going to create let's say here camera object so cam equals camera and uh, let me see <coughs> I'm going to create two rotations. So let's say cam x, and it will be the sign of the sign of G L F W that get time. Yes, let's say times uh, ten, and the camera that z will be equal to the cosine of glfw that get time and times 10 okay the next thing is i'm going to delete this view matrix this view variable and recreate it here so view will be equal to the cam that look at and give it three vectors so vec vector three and uh, cam dot x or com x and move it five on the y and com dot z uh, no com but vector three and this is the target so where we so we we're, we're looking at the zero zero and zero and the last is the world up or the camera up vector three and zero so the y will be the up and zero mm -hmm vector free so let me see the camera so the first vector is the position of the view which is this the next is the target so where we are looking at this is this to the zero 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 and the world up or the camera up vector which is this and will have the positive y one on the y axis so now I'm going to cut this GL uniform matrix for FV for the view location and paste it here so now uh, it should rotate around the view should rotate around the scene so let me see what we have oh, not the camera but the camera system okay mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> but remember that uh, not the view or, or the camera what is rotates but the world rotates it looks like that the camera is rotating so in the next video i'm going to implement uh, 
some input handling, so I will move the camera with the W, A, S and D keys uh, around the scene. So all this code will be uploaded to GitHub and uh, the link will be in the description. So thanks for watching.